Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. I am from SVC University, Society of Software Engineers. So we are planning to start a new batch on Complete Always On, guys. Complete Always On Master Series. So become hero in Always On. So in this series, we are going to cover Complete Always On, right? And uh, this is a master series for Always On, guys. So we are going to start this batch on. We are going to start this batch from. 2nd December, okay, 2nd December 2023, guys, 2nd December 2023, and classes will be on weekends, Saturdays, and Sundays, morning 7 to 9 IST, okay, Saturdays and Sundays, morning 7 to 9 IST, <clears throat> for US people, it will be Friday evening and Saturday evening, guys, okay, Friday evening and Saturday evening, so duration will be one to one and a half months. Okay, so duration will be one to one and a half months, guys. Mode of language is English, and we are going to provide recordings and notes, guys, with this particular session. So, whatever sessions we are discussing, every session will be recorded, and you, you will get the access to the each and every session directly to your Gmail, guys, directly to your Gmail, and also notes, whatever scripts we are using, we are going to provide the scripts as well, guys. Okay. So, what and all topics we are going to cover under this Always On Master Series, okay? Or become hero in Always On, guys, okay? So, so what and all topics we are going to cover? So, what is there to cover for one and a half months in Always On, okay? So, let's let's discuss the topics that we are going to cover. So, we'll start with the introduction to Always On, guys, okay? So, first we'll start with introduction to Always On. Then we'll discuss the legacy architecture, like how database mirroring for high availability and how log shipping for disaster recovery will work. So we'll discuss those. That doesn't mean we are going to cover mirroring and log shipping. So we'll discuss how mirroring and log shipping will work for better understanding of always on, right? And the always on availability groups for high availability and disaster recovery, how always on availability groups will work for HADR, high availability and disaster recovery. And we'll cover deployment planning and considerations like topology, guys, unit of failover, considerations for replacing log shipping for DR. Okay, how this is a replace for the DR. Okay, so we'll, we'll discuss those things. And we are going to cover quorum models. Okay, what and all different models are there in the quorums and how the vote concept will work node voting concept okay we'll also cover node votes okay and we'll cover always on demo and the configurations right so we'll start from the scratch guys completely i'm going to show you from the very beginning like first we'll create vms and then setting up domain and then setting up the windows cluster why because windows cluster is mandatory for cluster for always on so we are going to set up Windows cluster. So that is also part of this class. And we are, we are going to show you how to set up the Windows cluster and all. Okay, then we are going to cover different types of always on. We have different types of always on, guys. Okay, so traditional always on, like a regular always on. Most of the people will use this traditional always on, guys. Okay, so we first we'll start with a traditional always on demo. And then we'll cover multi-subnet always on. Okay, we are going to cover multi subnet always on, and then we'll cover clusterless always on, guys. Then distributed availability groups. Then in the SQL Server 2022, we have a new feature called contained availability groups. Okay, so we are going to cover all these five types of availability groups. Okay, traditional, multi subnet, clusterless, distributed AZ, and contained AZ availability groups. We are going to cover completely with the demos, guys. And then we are also going to cover how to patch always on replicas. Okay, how to patch always on replicas. So we'll, we'll show you the demo as well, how to patch always on replicas also we are going to cover. And we are also going to show you how to upgrade the always on instances and how to migrate the always on instances also we are going to cover with the demo guys. And we are going to have some kind of scenarios where if we add some files to the existing availability group databases, what will happen, right? So adding files with the same path and with the different path, what and all challenges, how to fix those issues and all we are going to cover. 
and then we are going to cover ag database refresh activity how to refresh in availability group database okay so that also we are going to cover and some options like setting up td okay how to set up all i mean to say how to set up td on the availability group databases ag databases and what and all challenges will face while setting up this how to overcome the challenges after setting up the TD and the best practices of TD on always on, we are going to cover. We are also going to cover CDC, change data capture, right, on availability group databases, guys. And table partitioning is also an important feature. So that also we are going to cover on the availability group databases. And setting up the replication sometimes in some organizations, people will use combination of AZ and replication. Okay, so that also we are going to cover setting up replication on the availability group databases and what kind of challenges we'll face, okay, after setting up the application and how to overcome. So we'll be covered in the availability group, setting up replication and availability group databases, guys. So common issues on availability group always on. So what and all some common issues we will face in the organization like login failures on secondary these are all very important in terms of interviews, guys. Okay, so that's why we added as many as we can. Okay, so login failures on secondary, job failures on secondary, shrinking log file of the AZ databases, like in case if it is showing in the log reuse weight description, if it is showing availability replica, how to troubleshoot. Okay, shrinking the log file of the AZ databases. Synchronization issues, what kind of issues will come, how the data synchronization will work. In case of synchronization issues are there, how to troubleshoot, we are going to cover. And the most important performance issues with AG setup, guys. Performance issues with AG setup in case if the data synchronization is slow, how to troubleshoot. If reads and writes are slow, how to troubleshoot. So we are going to cover, this is very important performance issues with AG setup also will cover. And the configuration failures, we are going to cover. Fail to add database to the always on, sometimes we'll get this error. That also will cover and failed to create listener. Okay, while creating listener, what kind of challenges will get it? In case if it's failed to create the listener, how to troubleshoot it also we are going to cover. And we are going to cover always on performance internals and troubleshooting. Okay, performance internals and troubleshooting also we are going to cover like how always on synchronization works in synchronous and asynchronous replicas. Always on worker pool or worker threads. High logs and queue latency, high redo latency, how to check, how to troubleshoot also we are going to cover in this. Always on master series, guys. Okay. And configure always on in IaaS. So this is a new topic. So how to configure always on in the IaaS environment, in the cloud, Azure cloud, guys. How to configure always on in the IaaS environment and how to set up the listener in Azure IaaS. So, which is act as load balancer. So, this also we are going to cover completely and we are going to show you the demo as well. Apart from that, we are going to cover the common interview questions that we are going to get it from the AZ. Okay, from like 5 years to 10 years, 15 years also you can mention. I mean to say 5 to 10 years or more than that also you can mention. Okay, you can mention this interview questions on AZ. So we are going to cover best practices with AZ. Okay, what and all the best practices. Okay, best configurations we can set up on the AZ. So that also we are going to cover and the extended events, guys. Okay, we are going to cover extended events. This is like extra topic. It's not part of AZ, but again, okay. So there are some areas where generally we don't get enough information from the Google and all. So we are going to cover these extended events also okay in the in this always on master series and query store some of the features like query store how query store index will work so that also we are going to cover and some dmvs to troubleshoot always on okay to check the always on performance and all so some dmvs for always on also we are going to cover guys so like total 24 topics right it will be more itself like while while discussing we can add one two topics for example if you have any other things related to the always on let us know we are going to add that as well okay so this is how we are planning an always on master series guys 
so very important like we are going to cover this complete sessions in one to one and a half months we are expecting so it will be like uh, more than uh, 25 hours of training i'm guessing so so it will be definitely more than 25 hours of training so this is how it will work guys okay so it will help you like anything in case if you are trying for the jobs like for on premises equal we are cloud also so this always an is an important feature guys okay so if you learn this definitely it is a kind of uh, upgrading yourself okay so that you can attend up to 10 years 12 years level of interviews also more than that if possible if you are very confident okay we are going to provide recordings of each and every session and we are going to provide notes scripts like whatever scripts that we are using to troubleshoot always on performance issues and also we are going to provide the scripts also so this is how this always on master series will work guys so if you are interested and everything will be like uh, will will be explained with the complete diagrams and all so nothing to worry about the discussion so we are going to complete we are going to show you the a real time setup kind of thing okay so while configuring this always on and all so that's how it will work guys in case if you are interested on this so you can reach me you can you can ping me at my whatsapp number like uh, plus 91 is a country code 9902590140 okay my whatsapp number you can ping me on this number guys okay or else if i am not reachable the best possible option is like whatsapp i'll 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 respond immediately so if i am not reachable in the whatsapp uh, you can send you can email to swsu university at the rate gmail.com okay you can send an email to swsu university at the rate gmail.com guys okay so we are planning to start this batch from 2nd december and the classes will be on weekends guys saturdays and sundays morning 7 to 9 am ist guys okay thank you so much guys please subscribe to our channel swsu university